So you have always wanted to make a vampiric black metal. Following these few easy steps, you now can. Vampiric black metal is basically just black metal with gothic and vampiric themes. There are a few other characteristics that a lot of the bands of this style seem to share in common though. The music tends to rely on the true cult side of black metal instead of the trendy, poppy black metal. So, production value should be kept low. In fact, it seems to me that the vampiric black metal tends to have even lower production quality than your usual black metal. If you don't have an old tape recorder that you could use, I recommend an old Nokia phone or something similar to get that true cult vampiric sound. I will be using the microphone of my web camera. Musically, the songs can be raw and aggressive or atmospheric and droning. In your guitar work, you can utilize octaves and dissonance to hit that cult spot. Minor scales work, but you should not stick to just that, because the result might be a little too safe for a vampiric black metal. Instead, you should play whatever sounds the most evil and cult. In the end, it doesn't matter that much, since the quality should be so low that you can barely discern what you are playing. If you are going to use a drum machine, try to pick something that uses unpolished samples. Eucritone has great cheap drum plugins for this kind of purpose. Bass is optional as it will be barely audible in the mix. It is not illegal to add some church organs and church bells to your song. If you can't afford to buy a church organ, you can use a digital VST plugin. Firebird 2 is a free VST with a decent church organ sound. Now all that you need are some low quality black and white promo pics to go with your release. For the band name it should be a combination of the word vampiric with some other dark or evil sounding word. Here's some examples that you can use. Oh, by the way, never write vampire with an I if you want to be taken seriously. For the band logo you can either use a simple medieval font or you can go with the usual chaotic mess. One unique way to create a logo is to smash the screen of your smartphone with a hammer and then take a screenshot of the beautiful new artwork. Now that we are all done, let's hear the final product.
Listen to them, the children of the night, what music they make. Until next time, folks, stay cult.